down, mister or missus. I don't know what you... <laughs> Holy shit! Partner, you just killed this guy! George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is. How many innocent lives is this now? Four? Five? <laughs> Are we even the good guys anymore? I mean, Jesus Christ! As soon as we see an opportunity to kill someone, we do it! Pretty soon, people are gonna just need saving from us! Not that, it, not that any of that matters, because without the Crystal Babies, we can't continue! This is crumbelievable! You broke the progress of the game! It's over! You can't progress anymore! You're gonna have to restart the whole game, and start all the way over from the very beginning, and when you get to this part, don't kill this bathtub character! And Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now, you're gonna have to get those last two crystals, and you're gonna want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named George. He's got the next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And uh, hope you guys, uh, Chair Orpian, you doing? You feeling pretty good? You doing okay? All right, good. That's good. That's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that you're feeling good. All right, get out there, and we're getting close. We're getting close to the final part of this whole thing. Boss, I'm feeling a little weird right now because we just found out Glorcon's motivation is just true love. Oh, oh that makes you feel weird, does it? Does that make you feel weird, Chair Orpian? It does? Huh. Well, that's strange. I, I guess it is a noble and sort of relatable uh, motivation. He's just trying to find his true love. I mean, if anyone's ever been in love, they can certainly understand that, but but it doesn't matter. He's trying to destroy the cosmos, and we need to get out there. So so hurry up and get on to George. He's my pal. He's going to hook you up. George, go talk to him. Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Get a hustle on. Oh, hey! What's going on? I'm Bathtub Guy. Oh, shit! Oh, I I'm so sorry! Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, yes, I'm George, but when I'm in the bath... Don't disrespect me by touching my duck! What the hell is wrong with you? Shit, look, I'm sorry, man. Okay, 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 right. So, what I was saying was, people call me Bathtub Guy. You guys here to play a little Midnight Shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to do, but uh, I, I, well, I, maybe? What's Midnight Shuffle? You know Midnight Shuffle. It's when two consensual adults tuck in their chub, hop in a tub, and sit knee to knee. Yeah, no, I, no, why would we want to do that? Because it feels good. Look, I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we <coughs> hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit. Well, why didn't you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh-wee, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by, and we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies. We're all pruny. My fingers were so tiny, I wanted to touch them. And just as he's about to leave, I go... Hey, man, that'll be 13 Space De Niro, and he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, Boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. So, the only way I'm going to catch him is if I pull out my hookah kooky and give him a whirl of pearly. So, that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately, so that's been working out, but property values are going up the roof. <laughs> so it's hard to find clients who actually want to invest into a property. But I always try to tell them, invest early, because if you don't, 
you will be caught in a snowstorm later wishing you had. You don't want to be stuck in an apartment paying $4,000 worth of rent when you could have bought a place on 34th Street for less than that, do you? Ten years down the line, you won't even think about it. But my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. Another great investment? ice cream on Sundays. Trust me, ice cream on Sundays will make you feel closer to God. Trust that because ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn duck. Partner, would you just listen to him? Okay, cool. So, I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know, my mother certainly says it is. But I don't let that stop me from getting out and preaching half of the word. Now, I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament. What the fuck are you doing? That's my duck. Put my goddamn duck down. Don't touch the duck. As I was saying... Now, I'll grab a Bible, tear out, messing with my duck again. Motherfuckers, keep fucking with my duck. Look, look, I'm sorry. Now, as I was saying, now I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, no clue. I just point to a page and I go. A lot of times that ends up being revelations. So I tell people, hey, if it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, sorry, pa bathtub guy, George, whatever. The world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit, I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now let's see if you know where the door is. That means leave, asshole. You two turd birds come barging into my place uninvited, telling me to be quiet when I'm just trying to sit here. Nate. Wow, partner, would you take a look at this cool tech world, this gear world? Man, this is gonna be a fun one to explore. I can't wait to dive into every nook and cranny of this cool tech world. Looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. Oh crap, these guys again? Get him! My nipples are still not here! Oh, look who it is! It's fuck face and shit ass! You're full of fuck this time! We're not fucking around! Yeah, that's right, we're gonna fucking murder you! Yeah, you tell him! I am telling him! What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna fight! I'm, I'm preparing myself to fight! Why are you being so quiet? Fuck you! I'm not being quiet! Hey, Suck my dick! I'm fucked. That's it. I'm fucking murdering. I'm, I'm in murder mode. Glorcon commanded us to murder you. We are loyal to our DNA father. Sh everyone shut the fuck up. Attack. I'm gonna fuck you up, punk. Man, those Glorcon clones. Bunch of idiots. Uh, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. Whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. Partner, let's let's get these crystal creatures and get back to the telepod and find out what the hell boss wants us to do. How, how he expects us to plug him into Glorcon's face. 
I mean, how the hell are we gonna pull that off, you know? What do we need? Go back to his home world and, and do it there? All right, anyways, uh, let's get the things. I don't know. Is this too, am I talking too long? Oh, great, here we Look go. Who thought they were gonna fucking get to the bottom of this. Hey, get over get here. Him. Ah. God, I almost feel kind of bad for these guys. All right, look what I see. A couple of the, a cup. Holy shit! Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Surprised? It's me. That's right. I, you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You wanna know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm gonna be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. <laughs> it worked! And this is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is gonna include the power of your dogs, and it's gonna merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water. No telepod, all according to plan. Now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little balls. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, partner. Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway. You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here. I mean, this is it. Glorcon... One. This is horrible. I mean, you know, we gotta focus on survival now. We got, we, we gotta just let everything. Forget about the dogs. Forget about you know trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. You ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick, and then come back. So we we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, this, we're, we gotta start figuring out where we're gonna get food. We, we should start trying to build shelter. Hello, excuse me, we need some help here. Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Boss sent me out here, said there was some commotion going on. So I came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm gonna solve this mystery. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's gonna be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story too. I'm Pink, I'm awesome, and I'm gonna figure this shit out. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. I'm Pink Trover. That pink fucking version of me, there's a lot of us, has a fucking telepod. You heard him, it's right around the corner. Let's go, hurry, it's our only way out of here. I don't wanna be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. Oh my God, that poor pink trover. What an idiot, what a dummy, holy shit. But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, it's better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different, it's different colors. I think this is a T-8000 model, wow. It's got all kinds of doodads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but, I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. Pink Trover, what, what did you find out? Oh, it's you two. I must have misdialed. Trover, Cherorpion, things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there, too. 
Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. We fucking played right into Glorkon's hands. We're, 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 we're fucking idiots. He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid. He's a fucking genius. He played us like a fiddle. And now he's got control of the abstainers. And, and he's, and he's, um, and he's got the crystal babies. We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still. We haven't really done anything. We haven't done much of anything. I mean, this might as well be the beginning of the video game. I mean, we might as well have started the video game, like, right here, narratively. Because that's basically where we're at. We're basically at the fucking be beginning, aside from all the fucking, you know, narrative story arc between you and me and, like, you know, our friendship and all that stuff. I mean, we may as well, this may as well be the boot-up screen for the game right now. Because we're fucking back to square zero. This is fucked. Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? Shit, I didn't see this coming. D did you see this coming? Yes or no? Come on. Nod your little fucking peanut head. Did you see this yeah, shit? Yeah, me neither. We're fucking fucked. This is ridiculous. This fucking guy. Okay, we all, we underestimated him. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta move. Trover, Chair Orpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? Ah, uh, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was, the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's, this guy played us. That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is. And that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trevor, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trevor, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpian, do you think you're up for this? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the... this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cheerorpion, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to... Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I, mean, I stuck around with you for what? And now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, all right, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. You've seen his lighthearted comedy on Flame Shack. No, you know him from his silly, family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props. 
and he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a warm round of applause to Comedy Guy. Oh my God, he hung himself. You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me and, and now I have to deal with this? What, what am I, the, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shaft, big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 hours, plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. We were supposed to get a bomb. We were supposed to pick up a bomb from this guy. Where is the bomb? Oh my God, you know, th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't start this shit. I, I, I feel like Elian Gonzalez right now, remember him? He wrote on dolphins and he was involved in a huge international custody battle, remember that? Holy shit, it's the bomb, there it is. There's the freaking bomb. L let's get it and get the hell out of here. Partner, please, just let's go. Just get me in the telepod, please. I wanna get the fuck out of here. This isn't my war. Fuck this. I just wanted to get high off of some power babies. And and, and now this? I'm like Swan D over here. The, you, you know, the, the, the guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step? The guy did jack shit. He just skipped across the street. This is bullshit. His name was Swansea. 